Alright, what is going on guys? Cydia Top Tweets and today I'm bringing a new video and this is showing you how to get Cydia for iOS 8 jailbreak. Now guys, if you haven't seen my previous video, go watch that because it actually shows you how to jailbreak um, your phone or your iPad or your iPod Touch on iOS 8. <clears throat> so go watch that now guys. Uh, and then this is going to show you how to get Cydia on it at the moment. So guys, after doing the other video and getting Pangu, you're going to want to install OpenSSH. Now I've already, I've already installed it, but go ahead and install that guys. And once you're done with that, that is the phone part done with it. Alright guys, so the second part of installing Cydia will require you to use a computer. Now if you're using a Windows computer, you will need a program called WinSCP. But if you're using a Mac, you can use something like FileZilla. Um, there are alternatives to these programs, but these are the main two. So with WinSCP guys, all you're going to want to do is put your host name as your IP address. So, oops, 192.168. Like so, the port number is 22, the username is root, and the password is alpine, so A-L-P-I-N-E. Once you've got all that down, guys, uh, you, if the port number 22 does not work for you, try port number 21. The port number 22 has been working fine for me, guys. So give it a while, it will load up, and um, you get taken to this. So you'll be in the private var root directory. And then once you're in root, you want to double-click on media. And now you guys won't have a folder called Cydia. You have to make your own folder. And by, to do that, all you simply have to do is right click, click new directory, and call it Cydia, like so. And then once you've made that, go inside of Cydia, do the same thing, new directory, and call one auto install. Make sure you have the capitals, guys. You need the capitals, otherwise this might not work. Anyways, once you've gone inside auto install, you're gonna wanna put the two, the two files that you have downloaded off the internet into that folder. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I've already done all this process, guys. Mm. But once you put them in, um, stay inside of this, then hit the command open terminal button up here. And then once you get put inside of this terminal, guys, you literally just want to put in uh, these two commands right here. Hold on, guys. Let me just get them up because I need to copy and paste them in to the actual thing. Alright guys, so put these two commands in. DPKG, uh, th these will all be in the description guys, so don't worry, uh, I will have these guys for you. I'll have these for you guys. So the first one will be 1.1.12 and the second one 1.1.13. So once you put both of them in, when you do put the 1.1, when you put the 1.1.12 guys in, uh, it will actually say that an error has occurred, but don't worry about that leave that it's fine and then all you do is put the second one in once you're done with that you close that down uh, you can close this down if you want to guys and then head to your device and then I can't exactly show you my device right now guys but all you're gonna want to do is you won't see Cydia there right yet you want to hold down the power button and the home button keep holding it until your device turns off keep holding until you see the Apple logo appear and once that does appear guys you can then let go let your device reboot and when you turn your device back on you should have Cydia there uh, the application of Cydia there itself and then just tap on that and it will say preparing file system and that can take up to a few minutes guys so let that run and once that's finished running um, uh, you can click simply click back on Cydia and everything should be good you should have Cydia on iOS 8 on your iOS 8 jailbreak now guys one thing to make sure of is just don't download anything yet on Cydia because not a lot of things work on it at the moment uh, it does put that on the main screen of Cydia so guys be careful what you're downloading because you can get stuck in a reboot loop which isn't good and does require a restore so guys I hope you have enjoyed this video I hope you found this helpful if this did help you to get Cydia on your device uh, leave a comment down below and give the video a like that would really really be appreciated guys and also FileZilla does do this the same way um, you just might not get the error code when you're putting it into terminal instead so on a Mac you'd want to type in terminal but yeah guys that's been about it for this video if you did enjoy remember to leave a like comment follow my Twitter for updates and subscribe for more awesome content see you in the next video guys peace